Good morning. Today I'm going to start some seeds. It is June 8th. I've marked an, an area on my box on both sides and I just use this stick just because I have it. And I kind of make a row that goes from one end, one mark to the other mark. Like this. Okay, then I find my next mark. I make a row. I found my next mark. And I make a row. Okay, I'm going to plant some perilla, Korean perilla, and I'm doing this for a friend of mine. I just drop a seed in my little row. Now, I'm going to plant some more pak choy. And I just dropped the seed in that little row. It didn't go in. Okay, I've started to label my box. I've got the Korean perilla, and then I have the pak choy here. Now I'm going to plant the Korean radish here. I'm only going to plant like six. So I just set them in. I'm going to use this whole row, give them a little bit of space to grow. So I could push them in a little bit. One in here. Push a little bit of sand over them. There. I'm going to go ahead and push a little dirt in the top. down. Now I'm going to plant the mini Napa cabbage. Cabbage has teeny seeds. It's weird. It's a big plant. Such teeny little seeds. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, push them in. Okay, I brought my tray that I planted inside out here to the greenhouse. It has the Korean perilla, the sand fan, pak choy, um, Korean radish, mini napa, uh, destiny broccoli, which is a miniature broccoli, 
and white onions that I saved the seeds. I, I have water out here in the greenhouse, but um, the water is cold from the hose. So I'm trying to heat up this so it stays at a certain temperature. So I go inside the house and I get um, almost warm water, I would say. I use my ketchup bottle that I got at the dollar store to water my seeds. As you see, um, the grooves still stay there so I know exactly where to water. So I've watered and I want to keep those pretty much wet the whole time until they sprout. I have a heat mat and I have lights over the top of them right now. I don't need the lights. Right here I have a temperature um, thermostat for the heat mat and um, I set it at um, 85. So right now it's uh, 71.6 so it'll kick it kicks on and when it gets 85 it'll shut off to maintain the temperature in the soil at about 85. I also I also cover I also cover this with these old um, plastic lids that I have to keep them humid, the humidity in. I have my heat sensor here in the dirt. I plant it here, so I put this in between. Now this should get really warm in here. Even if the greenhouse is cold, this will maintain its, um, its heat because of the heat mat and also, I will come out here and check and water one more time before tonight.